How's it going, everybody? I'm Nikki Delventhal, and this is my dog, Camper Delventhal. For the last three years, we lived in a Prius full-time. Then, with lots of car troubles on the horizon, we spent five months in a truck camper on loan while searching for our next home on wheels. And we found one, but to get to it, we had to drop off the truck on the West Coast and then somehow get our stuff all the way across the country. So we rented a van from Vancraft in California and hit the road, and left off on last week's episode of giving you a super fun tour of the van as we live our daily life. Cleaning up at rest stops, dealing with road troubles, finding campgrounds, and more. Then we finally make it to the snowy mountains of Oregon, where Camper will be taking a staycation with his buddies while I take you on an epic adventure. I slept here last night. It's so cold. I got my trash from the night before. We're all ready to go. Oh god. It is my sister and my dad's birthday, so we're headed to Mexico, baby. Oh, it's so cold out here. I'm over it. Oh, look at all the airplanes ready to go. So I wasn't planning on making a video of this trip, but some really cool stuff happened. So let's just do a quick recap of day one. Besides the epic sunrise, there was a long uneventful travel day starting with two flight transfers. And I never thought I would say this, but thankfully Cabo Airport has an outdoor bar to kill the time while I waited two hours for my next mode of transportation. A couple beers later and following this lady around the airport for 45 minutes, I finally get into my car. The drive around Baja is a gorgeous one and my driver was a blast. We even listened to his personal band on the way down and an hour and a half later, I made it to Todos Santos, where I got into another car to finally get to my friends and family just in time for the sunset and a dinner with loved ones before heading to bed. Good morning. Can you believe we have this place to wake up to every morning this week? And the best part, my family and friends are here to share it with. Estamos listos para hacer yoga a la playa. Like daddy, like daughter. I really missed this sense of community and receiving love every morning. You gotta go back up. You gotta have your... <laughs> I'll go get that for you, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> Too much fun alert. Hey lady, you want a ride? Yeah, where you going? You're so cute. Come on, hi. Oh, Hello, darling. The last of the Delventhals are officially here with Kayla's arrival. So now it was time to stretch the legs and go do a hike. On the menu today was Punta Lobos. A fairly easy hike taking about 20 minutes to get to the top with ocean views like you would never believe. You saw it? I saw the tail end of it. There it is, right there. You see it? Yeah, wow, that's cool. Right now, it is migrating season for the whales. They start arriving in Mexico around November, December, and whale watching season continues through March each year. So this hike is even more special with the whales popping out of the water at every turn. Hey, uh, these are my daughters. Do you know anyone cooler than me? Ha! The next few days were spent surfing, hanging out at our Airbnb, enjoying epic sunsets, swims in the water. I even found campers look alike. Are we in doggy heaven? Hi! 
and temporarily lived out my not-so-secret fantasies of being a crazy dog mom to a thousand dogs. Had some drinks on the water. We successfully snuck into our resort. <laughs> Cheers, friends. <laughs> and just had a blast with my entire family and our friends. Although I will say getting around with six to 12 people in one van was quite a tight squeeze. Welcome Watch to Watch Todos Ciao. Santos. <laughs> All right, uh, coming um, back. Yes, three. Yeah, I can. Uh, I can swap over. Here. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm good. Get here, Caitlin. I'm definitely writing that on the way back. <laughs> that was beautiful. Work. I've been working on my rap music. Poquito, tonito, empezado, terminado. Hey. Hey. <laughs> hey. Hey. It was the best time ever. And we're just getting started. My favorite two days of the trip are coming right up. Good morning from the beautiful Todos Santos, Mexico. I have a huge surprise for you guys this morning. If you guys follow along on my channel, you know one of my biggest passions is helping out the animal communities everywhere I go. And last night while I was at dinner, my sister's friend Hannah introduced me to a woman here in Todos Santos who has made it her life's job to help out these animals. So today we are going to go ahead and join her and see how we can help out too. As we're driving along to meet her, something you'll notice is there are stray dogs everywhere. And although this is a huge problem in Mexico in this area, if you open your eyes and look around even your own town, you might notice that it's also a problem in your own hometown. Uh, this is something that is really an issue all over the world. There aren't enough spay and neuter clinics to keep up with the breeding. People are abandoning their animals daily, thousands and thousands of them, where even local shelters are overrun and not accepting new dogs for months and months on end. And it's really become something I'm super passionate about. So everywhere I go to visit, I always try to see how the scene is there and see how I can help uh, and use my platform for good. So today we're gonna see if we can help out some of the dogs here in Todos Santos, Mexico. Hi beautiful. Hi. Oh, thank you. All right, so you ready for this? All right, let's go. Hopefully we will have a fruitful I've a, I've visit. A today Chanel was looking for two dogs in particular. So we got a call for a little girl in town whose father I know. All right. So he's brown, he's got scabs all over his face is malnourished and it clearly lives on the streets. He gets attacked frequently and he needs a place that's safe. So we're gonna take him when we find him and we're gonna keep him at the house until he realizes that's a safe place and a home. And another woman has stepped up to offer her 25 acres for him to roam and sleep living there permanently. I just gotta get him healthy first. Alright, we got one. Get him fixed. Um, yeah, he's actually swelling up. Yeah, that does not look good. So we found the dog and he's at someone's house who is claiming he's theirs, but he's obviously not taken care of. He's got an ear infection and some infection of his cheek. Oh, poor baby. From the bite, slowly. As you can see, this dog is extremely malnourished and not taken care of. And thankfully, after speaking to the person who took this dog in, they did agree to surrender him to us for better treatment and a better home. <laughs> okay, let me take him now then, and I'm gonna take him to my house and then wait for the vet there. We're gonna keep him safe, get him off the streets from now on. You're gonna be safe, baby. I'll get the door for you. We were also able to pick up this other homeless dog that needed medical attention as well. Here's Come on, baby. good girl. Yes. Yeah? So this is your idea to help out Radar? Totally. It's a nice idea. Well, thank you. So we see them all the time on the street being abused. So she wanted to be nice with them. Thank you. Yes. Well, we're going to make sure they're OK. Successfully finding these dogs, we headed to Chanel's, which is also the rescue. She does this all by herself, out of the goodness of her heart and out of her home. Thank you for everything you're doing. It's, it's so beautiful. 
it's really nice to be appreciated sometimes, but also just to have like, just to know that there's people out there that actually care about what you're doing because so much of it you just do alone without ever like having support. But the thing you get to take home at the end of the day is like, you've done your best and you have these little parts that do make a world of difference for them. And then my whole philosophy for doing rescue is that at the end of my life, I hope that every rescue I do is like a sparkle. And at the end of my life, I can look back and see like a little trail of sparkles that was my good left to the planet or left to on my karma. <laughs> Just to like try to keep things having a meaning. Like why else are we here if not to do good things, you know, or yes. to try to give back. Because it's really at the end all that matters when you when you think about what we're here for. So so far, I got a few I got a few sparkles. It felt so amazing to see these pups now in a loving, safe place. You're gonna be okay. You ready to go in and meet some of the pack? Yes. <laughs> At any given moment, Chanel will have anywhere between six to 10 animals in her home. Recently, we're up to about 12 and then had a few great adoptions. And then we got some new ones out front that you just met. So we have a continual turnover and it could be more if I had more time, space and money. Yeah. But we'll see how that goes in the future. I have some plans brewing, so we'll see. After learning Chanel's story and meeting all the animals, we had to help. Will you accept our donation? Of course. <laughs> We said goodbye to the pups and headed back to my place. You want to come in and meet the fam? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Chanel's going to be a delvin doll. <laughs> Here we go. Here I come. We've literally, the entire community is now a delvin doll. <laughs> this is the fam. So that's my dad, my sister Shoshana, my sister Kayla, my mom Cynthia, and this is Daniel. While we were getting to know each other and learning about the rescue, we were coming up with more ideas on how we could help. As any rescue will tell you, the best way to cut it down at the source is spay and neuter. So we talked about the possibility of setting that up. Do you oh, think yeah. that's something we could do is set up weekly spay and neuters from this so, point even forward? Like every other week yeah. would be awesome. Because I was going through about five or $600 a weekend on the clinics. Wow. So even if we had like a bit of cash put away, we could like, H1, there's only one vet, so he can only do so much in a day, but he's mm. fast. Yeah. So we could mm. do like a, a bi-weekly clinic that could be funded for a while and keep them going would be awesome. Yes, let's do it. I'll fund it. We're going to set up spay and neuter clinics bi-weekly. Let's do it. Yeah. I'm in. Bye. Ah! <laughs> I'll do the work. I you guys love help this. me out. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, we love you. If you've been following along, you know about a year and a half ago, I started a project called Camper Cares, helping animals, families, and fosters in need, and rescues just like Chanel. It's fully funded by portions of my external ad revenue on YouTube and your generous donations. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. None of this would be possible without you all watching my videos and supporting us. I love you. Wow. Angel, we just met an angel. Oh, I love her. <laughs> yes, indeed. Chanel, we love you. Hugs. Thank you, Chanel. Before we continue on today's adventure, a big thank you to Bottle Bottle for sponsoring a portion of today's video. Bottle Bottle is known for their high quality water bottles. For instance, I love this 64 ounce insulated water bottle. To me, the bigger the water bottle, the better. It's easy to carry with the large handles and carrying bags, so this is my new favorite go-to water bottle for sure. There's also this 26 ounce insulated shaker bottle. It's great for multi-activities from working out to mornings to shaking up your powders, and there's no noise when shaking the bottle either. And last but not least, the three-in-one magic bottle. This thing is so cool. It's two bottles hidden in one with two lids also to share with family or friends. I really love these. I really think they're great quality at a really great price. And if you're interested in getting one for yourself, just go to the link in my description for 10% off. All right, back on our adventures.
All right, guys, it is our last day in Mexico and it is gonna be a ton of fun. We took the hour drive to La Paz where we met up with Kayla's friend, Jaime, who's a tour guide here, and he's gonna take us out on a boat to go swimming with sea lions. Yeah. Jaime, you wanna be on YouTube? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have a few from camera. <laughs> well, you're looking good, honey. <laughs> Last time we were here, we got to swim with whale sharks. Both of these experiences are something you cannot leave this area without doing. It is amazing. All right, let's go. Everything was going great. And then this happened. So uh, I called the other boat and it was on the way to the island. That's the way to fix it right now. So okay. they're coming mm. as soon as possible with the mechanic, right? So in the meantime, we went for a swim. Tell us if you see the Feels sea good. turtle. <laughs> well, I gotta jump in too. Oh my God, you guys are crazy. I'm definitely scared of fish, but it feels good. You know, we are at the and water. Don't do that to me. Dan Dobbins all cam. Yeah. What's going so, on here? Yeah. The engine had a little trouble and a valiant effort was made to save it but we couldn't hit top speed and we're anxious to get the festivities started. So here we are, transferring boats, joining another party, it got better. There you go. That's it. Woo, woo, woo. You got it, Mom! Woo! You gotta let go and just jump in! Let go! Woo! You did it! We are rolling, baby! Here goes Kayla! If there is a big male, then you just want to back up, okay? Especially if they blow bubbles at you. This is incredible. We are stopping at this beautiful private beach to have lunch. It's amazing. 
plate. These are the cookies with amaranto. Wow. This beach has some of the clearest water you will ever see in your entire life. It's gorgeous. You're famous. Influencer on the wild. Out for another snorkel. There she goes. Nikki D. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Buena suerte. I love you mm -hmm. so much. I don't have any messages. <laughs> love you guys. Love you. Happy. Okay. Oh, trees. Hurt you the van. Oh wow, it snowed while we were gone. Holy f we gotta clean. I'm gonna get camper. It's so cold. But I'm so excited. Where is he? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends and turn on notifications. And if you'd like all of our videos early access and during that time completely ad free, join our Patreon for as low as $1 a month. Have a great day. We love you all. You guys, I cannot get all those dogs off my mind. Uh, I can't believe I'm saying this, but Mexico has been so much more than a family trip. It has become really, direction and inspiration for some really big life decisions. Uh, number one, 100% getting a bigger rig. Number two, I think we're going to start looking into expanding the family. As we travel, we are going to keep our eyes open for dogs that need homes and uh, hopefully start taking a few in over the years. All right, guys, I'm gonna go back to fun with the family, but we'll see you next week back in the States. There's a Cheeto over there in the sand. <laughs> what? Oh, <laughs> <sh> <laughs>